I'm meteorologist Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska Statewide Weather. And on this Wednesday, December 1st, we continue to watch a double barrel low pressure out over the northern uh, Gulf of Alaska. That's going to push another round of snow and snow showers across the panhandle for tonight uh, into the day Thursday with uh, winter weather advisories in effect from Yakutat down along the coast to Pelican and Sitka and in inland uh, inner canals from around Juneau down through Wrangell to Hyder where three to seven inches of snow will fall uh, through uh, later Thursday. And this is just going to continue to pump in colder air uh, across the Gulf. We have cold air in place across the interior and a bigger high pressure building in from the northwest coming in off the Arctic Ocean into the North Slope region. That high will build uh, to over a 1045 millibar high as it works its way southeastward along the northeast interior to along the Alcan border and moves into the Yukon. That's going to set the stage for some very cold temperatures getting back down 30, 40 below zero there along uh, the north slope into the uh, northeastern interior. Wind chills could be as cold as 60 below uh, tonight through Friday morning. Out to the west, a strong frontal system will be coming in off of the bearing. And as a result, a winter storm watch is in effect for coastal areas from uh, Port Hope southward to along coastal areas of the western Seward Peninsula and along the Yukon Delta in the vicinity of Scammon Bay. We expect some stronger winds with snow and blowing snow developing as we go through Thursday afternoon and evening and uh, impacting those areas, especially Thursday night into the day on Friday. And looking farther ahead as we go through the weekend, there is the potential of yet an even stronger storm to impact uh, western portions of the state. Uh, that would come Sunday into Monday. There'll be another uh, system coming in off the bearing that'll be milder and have some moisture, quite a bit of moisture with it. And this could produce more widespread snows along the west and southwest coast that will eventually move inland by Monday into the interior southwest. Uh, we're looking at uh, several inches of snow, so this could be a more widespread winter storm. Overall, this type of pattern is going to take shape as we go through mid-month. At times, we may see temperatures a little milder in the south and southwest, but overall, an active pattern is likely as we go through December. For Alaska State Weather, I'm Peter Chan.